There is an expectation from Challoners that we are going to produce decent quality music. There's a legacy that goes back through Ian Hooker's days. Yeah. He was here for 35 years and I've been here for 12. But I like to think we have built on all the strong um, things that, that he did and we've kept all the good things going. We're getting a situation here where, you know, it's impressive stuff that, that's going on. The music technology, uh, there was none of that. We are moving forward with um, you know, mobile technologies, Google Classroom, the way that works, designing the curriculum differently uh, for Key Stage 3 for the iPad, and it just really opens up loads and loads of doors for boys who suddenly realise they can do music, and they, it's not all performing. There's so much analysis, listening, composing, all the other strands of music that you've got to take into consideration here, and we're educating every child that comes through the doors and we've got to give them as positive as experiences as we can and not just favour those that play the cello because they do that already to be honest and we've got loads of extracurricular activities um, for people who do already play instruments to get involved in what I'm really keen on is educate them academically to make them believe that they've learned something even if they only take it to the end of year nine they come out of it knowing a hell of a lot more about music than they previously did and they've really benefited from it um, and if that makes them want to maybe take up an instrument or be involved in choir or they feel they've got some sort of point of uh, access to it, that's all great news. I have been writing my own songs since I was nine and uh, I have been producing them and editing them. I started about when I was about ten. I think Chandler's really has helped my music in that they've given me the opportunity to play in front of people whether it was just my class at the end of year seven or being asked to play prize giving or doing an assembly. I think there's quite a lot of people that don't get involved in musical channels because they see all the stuff that we do in assemblies and in concerts and things and they think, wow, that's, that's such high standard, I'll never be able to do that. But I think they also forget that to get to that standard, um, you have to turn up to some rehearsals and at the beginning, it never sounds as good as it does at the end um, and they only ever see the end product. The culture at Chandler's, I mean, there's a rich musical heritage here, and that's kind of given me the opportunities to like explore choral music at a very high level. Singing in St Mary's has obviously been great. Uh, but there's also a culture of student-led music groups, um, and certainly when I was in year seven, there was a student-led choir, and there's been student-led barbershop things in the past. And I think that sort of paved the way for something like Six One Chamber Choir to sort of come about, and I think that made it kind of easier for me to Get, get involved and kind of get that going, really. Um, but also, I think what inspires me more than anything else at this point is kind of giving people an opportunity who've never done choral singing before um, to just sort of come along and join in to what is actually quite a high standard of choral music. Do you know, I genuinely think people choose this school because of the things like the drama and the music and the sport. And I know it's got fantastic maths department and lots and lots of good things. I think one of the, the selling points for the school is that we've, the, we do such good quality music. <laughs>